In this video, we check out my Galactic Empire Black Series collection. Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're just going to check out my Star Wars The Black Series Galactic Empire collection. Just going to go through each one quickly and have a look and I can't wait because the Galactic Empire is the best. So let's jump straight in and pick a figure and we'll start going through. Alright, so starting off in absolutely no particular order whatsoever. A New Hope. This is the 40th anniversary Darth Vader from A New Hope and it's a nice Vader. It really is. Um, well, we've got him. I might as well bring in... The other Darth Vader. So that is the in Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader as well. So there are some slight differences. Um, I showed it in my review of this one. But yeah, I do love this one a lot more. And I'm really, really looking forward to the Return of the Jedi Darth Vader. Which should hopefully give us a uh, removable helmet. Um, and that will just, I think that's going to be one of the best Vaders we're going to have. So A New Hope and the... Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars The Black Series, Darth Vader. And this one here came with the weed display piece and all that. If I've got it close by, I'll um, set it up and pop a picture up. But um, yeah, so that was pretty cool of that. So that is the two Darth Vaders I have in my Black Series Galactic Empire collection. Right, I thought I'd throw these bunch together. So these are the Imperial droids that I have. This is K2SO, but I have them in the Imperial collection because I don't, I've only got a couple from Solo. So I'd love to get the new ones though, especially bays and such. But yeah, this is one of the best figures, K2SO Black Series. Absolutely awesome figure. Highly recommend getting it if you don't, if you can. Oh, too far. But um, then we've also got the Imperial Probe droid that is comes with Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, this droid here too, which is basically a repaint of R2. Panels open and all. He comes in the 4-pack, which we'll mention down the road. Um, also down here, which came with Rampart, is this blur that I dropped down the floor. Really, really cool. Mouse droid. Freaking love this thing. And even Rampart himself, which we'll check out soon. It's pretty cool. Um, and then, obviously, in the back there, the Imperial Probe Droid. And that thing is awesome. It's got some fantastic articulation on that. But, yeah, that is my Imperial Droids. Whoop. Now that we look there. Now we'll carry on. Um, I might do all the Stormtroopers last at the end or maybe even in a separate video. So, um, let's carry on. Next up, the Amazon exclusive Emperor Palpatine with throne and lightning hands and faces and I'll put my box away. Um, but yeah, this is such a fantastic set. Um, really is everything about it from top to bottom. Fantastic sculpt, but yeah, you've got to have an Emperor in your collection. And I love how it comes with this throne too, which is quite well detailed. I need to give it a wipe. But um, the Emperor himself is fantastic and a must have is he did create the Galactic Empire. Fantastic figure. Alright, so I'll try and move fast. So on to the next one. And here we are with our Imperial officers. From left here we have Grand Moff Tarkin, General Veers here. This is Rampart from the Bad Batch and Thrawn, mind blank there. All different in a little ways, all these little bits on here. It's just, yeah, they're so good. They don't, for a basic looking figurine, they look great. And <laughs> they just look menacing. Um, you've got to have Imperial officers in your collection, absolutely. So there are my, my four Imperial officers. Next up is the, I forget, the Death Star Gunner, Death Star Gunner, Death, Death Star Trooper. He works on the Death Star. He looks fantastic. Love the black. Can even take his helmet off. But yeah, I actually hesitated picking this up, but I'm really glad I did in the end because he served at me very, very well with this big, massive bucket hat. So that is the Death Star Gunner. 
Next up is the Emperor's Royal Guard. I've only got one. I do need to get my hands on another one. Fantastic figure. And even underneath is all this sort of armouring. And you get that other one in the box as well. But yeah, Emperor's Royal Guard. These guys are awesome. They look fantastic. Yeah, I need another one. Next up. Here on the left with the red is the Inferno Squad trooper dude so that is one of those guys they only did the one um but these, these guys look cool either way quite dark aren't they give me some light and this is oh he's the one xoxo so he's the one that gets blown up in um a new hope basically at the end the big fight the tie fighter i believe but yeah he is pretty good he came in the four pack that i mentioned that was with the droid um, and there was two other troops as well on there so TIE fighter pilots essentially and they look awesome I really like the look of them their own little looks there are, oh, their own little images as well it's got the Imperial logo and that is the um, I assume the, their own logo so they are pretty cool on to the next ones next up is the snow trooper uh, this is the original one, um, not the re-release one, the 40th I think it was in the package. But I love this one, I love the detail on here, he looks fantastic. I've got no faults with it at all. Awesome looking figure. Imperial Snow Trooper. Fantastic, right. Now we're going to go on to basically Stormtroopers. All Stormtroopers or Trooper basically. I like Scout Troopers, so I thought I'd do all of that together, um, do that as one big bunch at the end of the video here. So let's jump in and check out all these stormy troopers and troopers. But first, I'll just get, we'll put him in there. And this is the Attack Driver, which is pretty cool. Very reminiscent to a um, TIE Fighter pilot, really, but a few little bits of differences there. But yeah, fantastic figure again. Need eight here. Need a black series walker to go with it, thanks. <laughs> right, stormtroopers. From Jedi Fallen Order, the Electro Staff Scout Trooper. And this figure is an absolute beauty. I'm a big fan of this. And again, thank you, Brian, for hooking me up with this. Because I still to this day is the only one I have. And it's an absolutely awesome one as well. I'd like to get a standard one, but this Electro Staff Scout Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order is awesome. While we're on the note of that, the Purge Trooper as well. This guy, I love this figure. Just that helmet. Just looks badass. You can't go wrong with that. This is the light. I don't know if you can see the light there. But yeah, this guy is awesome. He just fell off. Um, I've also got the Electro Staff one as well. But I was, I was a little bit disappointed with him, to be honest. His electric things fall off but still another more great additions to the galactic empire as well um and on the end of the galact of that one the second sister inquisitor i think a second sister it's been a while this is an awesome figure tricky to stand but an awesome figure either way again jedi fallen order it gave us some good stuff and i cannot wait for the next game but this is a fantastic figure, and I also have the Carbonites one as well. Um, yep, that's it from Jedi Fallen Order, I think. Actually, no. This is one of my newest, and an absolute favourite of mine. The Flame Trooper, and I believe that is. Check in the box now. Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, this guy is awesome. Really cool looking Flame Trooper. Very, very much this one down but um an absolutely awesome figure either way just the slight little differences there just really make them stick out look absolutely cool right now onwards that's all the jedi fall in order so i'll just get them out of the way and here we have a sand trooper and this was the third out of the four pack that came out and so this is the official one i have two non-official but this guy is an official black series sand trooper and he is cool i love all of those the backpack and that, that these guys have 
they just look so good. Um, yeah, fantastic figure. Give me more, give me more. Right, on to the next. Next is another favourite of mine, thanks to Raymond Z, the Bim Ban Stormtrooper from Solo. Love that dirty look. He just looks cool as Galactic Empire reigns supreme. But he is a cool looking trooper. A really good, really cool with the dirt there. Really hard to get. I could never get him. Glad I did. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ramsey. Right, next one is the hover tank. It's the hover tank driver. He looks cool as as well. Latest archive wave. Um, yeah, just a really good looking figure. And also came out was the Shore Trooper. Looking pretty cool, looking pretty cool. Um, whether you've seen it or not, I'll just chuck it in there if I don't knock everyone else over. Is the carbonized one as well, just to give you a wee look there. So that's the carbonized, it's the standard. That is actually really good for a carbonized. Um, wasn't going to pick it up originally. Um, I'm not going to bring in, actually, I'll bring him in. I'll bring him in now. Is the incinerated trooper from the Mandalorian kick ass figure? This one really is absolute top notch. Um, with the new molds as well, and you've got the uh, Remnant Stormtrooper as well. So again, some wicked figures, and the new molds are just fantastic. Next. Right, so these two Stormtroopers, the original Stormtroopers we had, this is the one that had the blast pieces and stuff as well. Um, and that's just your standard Imperial Stormtrooper, but for their time, they're awesome. Either way, absolutely awesome figures. Give me more. Never have enough troopers and stormtroopers and anything like that. But yeah, these guys are cool. But yeah, there is a big difference in the articulation. Um, yeah. And the new ones, that is cool, cool. They are some of your standard stormies. Right, I'm just going to bring them in now. So this is the shadow trooper. This guy is awesome. Need a, should have a light on him at the moment, but... um. Yeah, he looks so good when you light him up as well, and I just love that blue transparency as well. Just an absolutely cool looking figure, and the fact that they're able to pull something like that off is just fan dangly tastic. Yeah, that is one of my favourite figures, this one. One of, one of. My favourites are coming up next, <laughs> soon. Right, next. Uh, let's get these guys out of the way. This is the, the fourth of the four pack. And I believe he's a Crimson Stormtrooper. So the red armour is designed to withhandle temperatures like Mr. Far and stuff like that. So um, that's what this guy's doing. Again, he's the old mould. But pretty good looking figure again, either way. Happy to have it in my collection. And that red is just awesome. Love it. Next, good old Imperial Death Trooper. He's quite tall. Come back a bit. Yeah, this is kick-ass figure again. Mandalore. This is the oh, the original ones from the boxes, actually. I didn't pick up many of the new ones. Um, but yeah, I'd love to get some more. I've got two. It's one of the few I've actually got two figures of. So Imperial Death Troopers are awesome. They've those green eyes as well. Yeah, just an awesome, awesome, awesome trooper. Right. Almost there. A couple more. This is the... Oh, just had a mind blank. I was lucky enough to be sent this from uh, um, a supporter of my channel a while ago. And this is one figure I missed out with. And oh, these are so cool. All that damage in that as well. Forget the name. He is the Stormtrooper Commander. Yeah, he just looks so good. Absolutely awesome. Love that dirtiness as well. Just, yeah, another stealth figure. And this guy here, the Imperial, Imperial Shock Trooper. Shock Trooper, something like that. L awesome thing. He's an awesome looking figure either way. Love this thing. Absolutely love this thing. Here we go, Focus. Is a big, f one of my favourites, to be honest, of last year. If you saw my video, he was one of them. 
I think he was neck and neck with the commander, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, that is an awesome figure. Imperial Shock Trooper. Rightio, on to the lucky last, and I save as I do. I save the best till last, so. The original Imperial Jump Trooper. This guy's awesome, especially for any Imperial fan. This guy is just everything Imperial. Look how cool he looks and that emblem on the shoulder. The new one didn't have that. The new one doesn't have this yellow, so it's just white. Um, which is why I wasn't bothered to pick him up. If it was the same as this or better or, you know, I would have. But, no, nah, love this figure. Have since I got it. Always going to be at the top of my list. It is just an awesome Imperial figure. Right, my friends, that is it. Now I need to put them all back on the shelf. Um, yeah, all is fun. But um, thank you very much for joining me for this video. Um, had a blast. Now I can wipe the shelf and put them back. Oh, I'll get there. <laughs> all right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you are new, subscribe, like, comment. We're chasing 1K this year. Really hope to do it with the support from you guys as well. Um, until the next one, my friends, whatever that may be, 2022. I've got nothing new lately, but he man, that's it. But um, anyway, <coughs> oh, excuse me, to the next one, given to the dark side, the Galactic Empire rule, and may the force be with you all. Well. <laughs>